Okay, that may have been too much. That's actually a lot too much. Disco. I don't really know what the heck I'm gonna do today. I just feel like playing around with whatever I have. I'm kind of feeling something gray. <laughs> Do I look like I have a bump in my head? This looks bad. <laughs> just put my hair in a clip. I have to put on my SPF. I really like this one because it has hyaluronic acid. Um, so it's really, really moisturizing and hydrating. Mm. So I don't even have to use a, a moisturizer under. I can just use this. I'm just pressing that onto my face and neck. I should actually start applying this like on my chest. Cause you know, you get sun exposure there as well. You know what I'm gonna start doing? I have so many makeup products and like there's always new stuff coming out. Um, but I have so many things and so many old things that are still really good. And yeah, I'm just, I'm not gonna buy anything. Even though I bought something yesterday. <laughs> but yeah, I don't wanna buy anything else. I just wanna use what I have. I'm gonna use a little bit of Max Strobe Cream. Even though I have like pretty oily skin, I want my skin to still look dewy and youthful i'm just gonna apply it on the high points of my face just here a little bit over the brow a bit down the nose i'm gonna do a little bit of correcting i'm using a bobby brown corrector this is kind of old so i never used to like this because it was really creamy but i've just kind of learned how to work with it to not settle into like my fine lines. So I will just like dip it in and kind of like wipe away a little bit of the excess on the back of my hand and I'll just pat it like right where my bag is. Is that a little bit better? Just like a really sheer amount. I have some redness here on my nose. I'm not taking any additional product. I'm just using whatever's left over on my brush. I'm gonna just do a little bit here. And then now I'm just gonna go into my fingers and tap it in. Don't mind my little stubby nail right here. Literally, it broke the other day. It's been four weeks since I've gotten them done. So, so they're actually hurting so bad. Next, I just wanna highlight, highlight a little bit. I'm going in with this NARS Soft Matte concealer it's like in one of their lightest shades i think it is the lightest shade chantilly same brush i'm just gonna go in and do the same thing i'm gonna wipe off the excess um on the back of my hand i feel like the trick to these pot concealers because they're pretty thick is grabbing it with the brush and then sharing it out before you apply it onto your face because you don't want to apply this thick concealer onto your skin directly because I feel like it's gonna just crease or it can look very heavy, especially throughout the day. If you have like oily skin, it can like break up and look cakey. So I think that's the trick to them, just really uh, being able to shear it out. And then with this, I'm just gonna go right in here just because I want to highlight inside this area of my face. I also want to take a little bit here on my forehead. Maybe a little here, a little bit here as well. Again, just a very light amount. It is very sheer. And what I'm doing right now with the brush is just spreading it. So now when I go to blend it with my fingers, it's easy to blend. I'm just gonna tap it in. You can do it with a brush or you can do it with your fingers. So now that I have that like little bit of a base under, I wanna do some cream contour and some cream blush. This is super old. This is the Smashbox contour pencil. I'm just gonna take 
this little, it's an Eco Tools brush, a really flat, dense brush. I'm just gonna take a little bit from the brush. I'm just gonna. <laughs> okay, that may have been too much. That's actually a lot too much. Oh wow, I really wasn't expecting that much. It's okay, we can work with this. Can you tell I haven't used this in a while? <laughs> <gasps> I just like to add a little bit here because I feel like it gives a little bit of a, like a little bit of a lift. So I have these lipsticks. They look almost like transparent, but then they adjust to like your natural lip color and make them look kind of pinky. I'm not the biggest fan of them because it turns, all of them turn my lip into like hot pink. So I'm gonna apply these on the cheeks. Just gonna go in with a brush <laughs> directly into the lipstick and just apply it on the cheeks and just build up the color. I really, really do like um, using like lipsticks for like a cream blush because again, it adds like the, like this dewiness. I'm gonna go in with another one from Givenchy. This is in the shade Gonna say. This is in the shade Coral. No, this is in the shade, I'm just gonna say Coral because it looks like a coral color. It's number 206. I feel like with blush, I would rather add more because blush is definitely one of those things that like always just fades. Like it goes away so fast. And the next thing I know, an hour down the line, I'm like, why do I look so dead and so pale? I'm just gonna move on to eyes. I'm gonna use this Makeup Forever Aqua XL, I don't even think they make this anymore, but these things were so good because they actually last a while. And the color, this color is just so good, M56. Again, on the back of my hand, I'm just gonna take a sheer amount with a blending brush. This one's actually from Wet n Wild. I believe they still sell these. I've had this for years. It works really well with cream products. I'm just gonna run it under my eye and bring it up like I always want to bring a little lift with the shadow especially if it looks like a contour shade I always like to run it under the eye because I have really big eyes and they look really tired so if I, I don't put anything under there it just it looks off on me personally I've seen some people that they put like nothing there, they go like really high up in there with concealer and I'm like, girl, I literally cannot. <laughs> this is the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in Dimensional Dark Brown. I'm just gonna smudge this. It's like the nice thing of having long nails, you can really just get in there and like swoop. I'm just taking the Jaclyn Hill Tinsel Summer Top Coat. I'm just kind of packing this all over the lid. Let me take it out a little bit. Let me run a little bit of that under my eye. I'm gonna take this shade right here. It's like a really light neutral gray and I'm just gonna take it on a fluffy brush. I'm gonna run that through the crease. I have this from Dior. It's called Longwear Eyeshadow in 621 Mirror. It's like this really gorgeous top coat. You put this on top of anything and it just like takes it to the next level. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of this down the center. Just have like a really sparkly, sparkly effect. And then I kind of want to go in with that brown pencil again. Actually, I'm gonna do top and bottom. I'm also gonna make sure to apply it like pretty heavily and messily, like on the bottom, because I'm gonna smudge this. And then when I'm smudging, there's already like product on the brush from me smudging. I'm gonna wipe it off into the towel, because that way you don't get like too much. Like if you want it to look a little bit more Subtle. I don't like it to look too, too dark under there. And now I'm gonna smudge again and blend with a clean brush. Uh, this and just kind of lift 
Now what I'm gonna do with that same pencil is I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna go in with this flat brush. I'm just gonna take a little bit on the edge. I'm gonna run it up along here. I'm just gonna follow this up right there. How cute is this palette from Natasha Denona? I saw this and I was like, this is calling my name. It's like these beautiful greens, a matte like olive green, what? And this color, which is what I wanna use right now. And I'm gonna just run that along here, just in the outside corner, just to kind of like redefine that like little something up there. I'm gonna use these two concealers. They're from Maybelline Fit Me. I'm gonna go in first with shade 20. It's a little bit darker. A little bit here. I'm gonna do a little bit in my jaw. I'm gonna press it in with my brush. This is a Sephora 232 Multitasker Face Brush. And now I'm gonna go in with the Fit Me Concealer in 15. This is a lighter shade, so I'm just gonna do like on the inner parts in here. Using the Anastasia contour kit. I'm just gonna go in with this shade and get it on my little brush, swirl it. And I just wanna add a little bit of uh, definition here to the cheeks. Just like me. I'm doing Charlotte Tilbury face powder in shade one. Just gonna press that here into the center where I'll get oily. And where my pores are, so this whole section here so I don't look like I'm sweating. Press a little bit of that into the chin. And then if you want, you could do a light dusting of another powder in a little bit of a deeper shade. I'm just gonna use this one, Charlotte Tilbury number two. Obviously I've used this one a lot and I use this one with the bigger brush. I just swirl it a little bit and just kinda work that throughout the whole face, just kind of blending everything together. I especially like to use it like here on the cheek because sometimes product can fade fairly quickly there. So I just kind of put a, a touch of it there. Let's swirl it through here, bring it down. I want to go in with this one from NARS. I have it in a tester packaging. It's called Luster, that's what it says. But it's kind of this bronzy, peachy, shimmery color and it just looks really pretty. I really like blush on my nose, so. Now, of course, you gotta use some mascara. I'm using L'Oreal Telescopic. Don't worry if you get mascara on your lid. Just give it like a minute to dry and it'll come right off with a Q-tip. I'm gonna just go in with Endless Cacao. I just like this color so much because it looks like a shadow. So you can still make it look natural. <laughs> natural. And you know what? I kind of want to go in with the shade that I was using earlier for the lips, like the coral shade. I'm just going to tap it. I'm going to build up the color. Just. Press it in. I'm gonna add a little bit of my Vaseline. Oh, wait a minute. I still have mascara on my lid. So now it's been like freaking a few minutes. You literally barely have to even like rub. It's just like a little tappy tap situation. And then I don't know my eyes since they're like so big. Girl, I always be getting stuff in there in the middle. So just with the Q-tip before I leave the house, if I'm going anywhere, I definitely just stick it in there. Let's fix the hair. My hair is so dirty. Now I'm ready to go, even though I'm going nowhere. I feel like skin looks good. My eyes look sultry, but 
not too overdone. It just looks kind of smudgy, kind of shimmery. If you're having a bad day, just sit down and get ready. Like, just because, just for the fun of it. Honestly, this feels wonderful. <laughs> I'm like, girl, I feel so put together right now. It's not even funny. Oh my God, my eyes are getting watery. <laughs> Can you even tell? Why are my eyes getting watery? <laughs> I look crazy. I've had this coffee sitting here. It's probably so cold by now. It's still good. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. Oh my god. I have to blow my nose. Disco. <laughs>